When I was nine, something strange happened. My belly and legs swelled up. A simple walk made my heart beat quickly. It was hard to breathe. People thought I was pregnant and they threw me out. No one knew why my belly was so big. In, in parts of the world like Rwanda, there is no public health infrastructure to diagnose and treat strep throat, so there are often repeated bouts and it eventuates in damage to heart valves, heart failure, and, and premature death. <laughs> My son, he is my inspiration. Everything I do, I do for him. We kind of from the beginning felt that we wanted to leave Rwanda better than we found it from the standpoint of heart care. So we, from the outset, have really wanted to build a sustainable effort in, in cardiac care and, and heart surgery. And we made our first trip in 2008 and been coming every year since. In 2013, I was extremely sick. I went to a doctor and he sent me to see Dr. Chip and his wife, Sia. They asked me if I have ever had a sore throat in the past. That's when I learned that the main cause of my heart problem was sore throat. But they did not select me for surgery. We screen somewhere between 75 and 100 patients at several sites around the country. We can operate on 16, but we have to somehow fit however many patients out of that 75 to 100 need surgery into 16 slots. I came back in 2014, then 2015. They selected me in 2016. I felt so hopeless, and I was ready to die at that point. But then, I thought that maybe God wants to do something good in my life. The most rewarding part, I think, is to be able to see the impact you can have on young lives uh, in, a, in a situation where there really is no other option for them to get care. And not just saving their lives, but in many cases, restoring them to their families, to uh, being able to get educated and fulfill their own dreams. My recovery was long, but now I have energy like I never had before. I have a dream now to learn to drive. I would like to bring other heart patients to come see these doctors who come to Rwanda. It will be my pleasure to volunteer for them, to thank them for the wonderful things they did for me and Rwanda. <laughs>